Greetings Guardians, my name is Byfear. Live commentary this time, still ill from La Rona, so if you are wondering why the voice is still a little bit nasally, that is why. This is going to be a super quick bit of commentary and also a little bit of analysis of the launch trailer which just arrived for Lightfall and uh, this is your opening spoiler warning because oh my god. Um, yeah, if you were not looking for bombshells to be dropped, this was definitely the thing to avoid. So click off now if you are one of those people, and maybe turn off your phone and kill your router and throw rocks at all your technology. I don't know what you do. You you do you. Self-sort. I don't know. Figure it out. Either way, let's begin. The trailer starts with a shot of a barricade wall to the helm opening something which would have been a blast shield for the glass which is now all cracked. You see some of our major characters and protagonists behind that glass, and they are clearly observing the battle between the Dark Fleet and the Traveler. But more importantly than all of that, they are seeing the advance of the Witness. The Witness is here, and for the first time, our characters actually get a glimpse of it, something that we forget because we always see it in cutscenes, Something that they most definitely won't because of the fact that this is their first time actually seeing this being, this entity from beyond. And it's appropriately fearsome for some. You can see the doubt on Mara's face. You get this quick shot here of the witness's eyes and they show what I think is genuine anger or frustration. Which is unusual because normally it's not a very emotive face whatsoever. Moving forward, more shots of the space battle that we've seen before. You have the Witness floating through the debris field and the Pyramid Fleet at the background. However, new things start to come up as far as the trailer footage is concerned. You've got Osiris and Rohan, one of the two Cloud Striders here, looking over certain views of Neomuna that we probably won't see until later in the campaign. I'm sure something distressing is going on, forcing them to turn that way. You have other shots that we've definitely seen before. Both our Guardian here and the Witness reaching out to what we can now clearly tell is the Traveler. However, we also see afterwards this shot where the pyramids reorient themselves. This is a very small, angular thing, but it's clear that that's what they do, and the pulse which is around them takes out a bunch of Guardian vehicles, and it seems like it kills Amanda, but I have to imagine that she's a skilled enough pilot to have dodged all of this. Aside from anything else, she appears in Vidoc cutscenes after the fact, so I imagine if nothing else this merely clipped her wings for a little bit. This is not something where I think Amanda has died, I know that will be a question for some of you. Don't worry, I really don't think for even a second that that's something you guys need to worry about. Furthermore, as you move through, again it's more of the repeating shots of the space battle, more shots we've seen before of Neomuna being invaded by the Shadow Legion, with all of the Cabal drop pods dropping down onto the city. We've seen this clip again of Nimbus as they fall out of the sky and start to challenge some Cabal Shadow Legion. However, as we move a little bit further on and get past these initial shots again of Rohan and Nimbus continuing their fight against a Tormentor, we start to see something totally new. This is the witness in their kind of hyperspeed corridor, I don't know quite what you call it, but this is the point at which shots of everything start to get a little bit wild. It appears that this hyperspace corridor, whatever this is, the beam of light, causes some really terrifying effects. Take a look at this titan, take a look at this ghost. Not only does the ghost suddenly start to segment, take a look in the top right, so does the titan. You can see the titan's face splitting into three. This thing cuts them apart. I don't understand how it does that, there is no recorded power in Destiny that does all of this, but it even cleanly segments their ships. Look at this. Three different jump ships, all of them cut cleanly into pieces, perfectly straight lines. Also worth noting, that Titan? Yeah, that's a OG Titan. You remember how ages ago I was talking about the Titan, Warlock, and Hunter that were the fire team in the season finale for Season of the Seraph? That's clearly them again. This is clearly a throwback to the idea that we lose because this fire team is an OG set of Guardians that's just apparently been around since D1, if everything continuity-wise sticks. So, yeah, this isn't us, but these Guardians just dying like this? Clearly is an indication of the fact that the Witness is here and it's not here to play. This is a problem. Moving on, you have yet more shots of Callus, the Tormentors, the Witness talking to Callus, 
Some things that really are not that new in comparison, but still, they fit the theme and mood of the trailer for certain. You have a Tormentor dropping down behind some Guardians and using that, I think it's called the Dark Harvest move, where they just grab a single Guardian and restrain them before dealing an enormous amount of damage. So, terrifying still, I don't know how that works out. I imagine in lore that's actually a pretty terrifying thing to happen. Next up we have this shot here. This is what I want to pay real attention to. Yes, all of the Guardians using their different strand abilities are excellent, but that doesn't really teach us anything new about the story. We have this shot here. We have you, a Guardian. This is your player character's model, most certainly, because it's using the new armor. They're wielding a Kvostov, which is interesting. There are some implications that we probably go ahead and grab this weapon from somewhere in the EDZ. And this may be something that's part of the Season of Defiance. I don't know quite why we have it, but we do. It's just a Kvostov. You can also see some minor details here. Top right, you can see some black and blue in all of the different bits and pieces, and you can see an incredibly large foot. That is Keitel. And on the left-hand side, in the more nanite shape, something that's a lot more slim, something that is still huge as far as shoes are concerned, but clearly a lot more slender, I want to say that's probably Nimbus, so whatever's going on here on this pyramid-esque looking floor, it looks like both Keitel and Nimbus will be joining us. Whatever we're looking up at, I have to presume is Callus. I'm not sure though. We see some more shots again of different fleet things, and then there is this last medley of shots. This is what I really want everyone to pay attention to. I'm going to freeze this frame by frame and talk about each one, because what happens here is... The Witness reaches out and touches the Traveler, I believe. There is this massive building crescendo of energy that just detonates. The Traveler unleashes a beam, or perhaps a beam is unleashed upon the Traveler. But you can see on this first paused shot here that you can actually see plant life growing on this pyramid that it faces immediately. Which makes me think this is the Traveler fighting back somehow, but I'm not sure. I haven't got a clue. This is something we've clearly seen before. I mean, we saw it in the opening trailer for Lightfall, where we saw the Witness reaching out to this particular point. So clearly something is going on here. I have some thoughts about the plants, but I'm going to leave those until the end. As this happens, it's interspersed. You have a little shot here of Nimbus punching a cabal, of Osiris raising up to see something. You have Keitel lifting up the Hammer of Proving. This is something which is a very important Cabal artifact culturally, and it's definitely something we'll see her using from now on, particularly as she makes her challenge against the Emperor. This is a rather remarkable final shot here from the perspective of the helm, is these pyramids surrounding the Traveler in a kind of star-like formation, which I can only imagine means bad things. And then there's this shot here. Now, I actually want to try and go through this frame by frame if possible, because as you go into the Witness's eye, you can see a bunch of different things. If you move forward, you can see that each individual planet in our solar system, and some of the moons too, is actually shown off here. You can actually hear my clicking of my mouse as I go through this frame by frame in the background, I'm sure. But at very least, you can see Mars, Earth, the Moon, Jupiter, and Saturn in some of these early shots. As you move forward, however, Something strange happens. It's just this. I don't know what this is. It looks like roots. It looks like a tree system. I haven't got a clue what's going on in this particular one, but I can't imagine that it's been included in this trailer for no reason whatsoever. Whatever it is, maybe it's from inside the depths of the Traveler itself. Moving further on, you get a closer look at some of those planets. See Mars over on the right-hand side, I believe. You have it behind another large celestial object. If that's a moon, I want to say that's probably something like Ganymede. You have the moon and earth on the left, Jupiter in the background still. As this continues to move forward, it pushes through the planets to the point where you're also seeing Saturn's rings. And then, at the very background, in the back, you can see suddenly there is a focus on Neptune. This single blue planet between all of them at the very end of the solar system. And that makes a great degree of sense as a result. Moving forward, you have that final shot there of the Witness reaching out as it is clearly moving to take the Traveler. There is, of course, the note in the Prophecy Wall that has been given over and over again about how the Witness will commune with the Traveler and drink the light. 
I think that is exactly what we're seeing play out here. This may well have been its plan for the longest time, and whether or not that's the case is something that's a little hard to discern. So, yeah, maybe we'll figure out what's going on there as the time goes on in the campaign. It could just be that the scene is nothing but spectacle, but I have to imagine that's the case. Now, one last thing, I do want to go back and refer yet again to the plants, because I said I would, and it's actually a very important scene as best I can see, because this is the first time we've seen the Traveler actively do something. Uh, yeah, this point at which the Traveler is firing its beam. We have seen this again from earlier trailer footage that these kind of white and red roots and the system of plants here starts growing. I think it is worth simply remembering that the Traveler, as it is related to in old mythology from the Unveiling lore book, is sometimes related to or referred to as the Gardener. Now, it's not clear if this is actually the Traveler or if this is some deeper entity of the light, but regardless, I think it's fair to say that the Gardener is an image that is conjured quite handily by these plants. It's something which makes a fair degree of sense with regards to the light. The growth that sprouts up here is wild and uncontrolled, and it's something that seems fairly unpredictable and does not seem to fit with a pattern. That most definitely fits with the ideas set forth by the Gardener in the Unveiling Lord book, if that is to be taken as canon. I don't know if it's one of those things where this is the witness lying to us in that lore book, so it's entirely possible that this is a narrator's inaccuracy and a perspective of someone who is biased. Regardless, this seems to fit that bill. And again, I don't know if this is the Traveler attacking or whether it's the Traveler being attacked. Regardless, this is also an important shot because it's our first look but what might potentially be inside the Traveler. We've never seen this before. This is genuinely something new, and it's a greater manifestation of light than we've seen ever in Destiny. I think the closest it comes to is Gaul being rebuked by the Traveler at the very end of Vanilla Destiny 2. So yeah, all of this is a really big deal. Let me know what you think of the trailer. Let me know what you believe is going to happen in Lightfall. And uh, from here on out, let's all make a pact just not to spoil each other. Cool? Cool. Furthermore, if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and leave a like. And if you want more Lightfall content, go ahead and hit subscribe and the bell next to subscribe to turn on those email notifications. But as per usual, know that your viewership as always is quite enough for me. And that in the meantime, my name has been, my name is Bife. Rodasia Arastra. I'll see you, Starside.